Spider-Man and Batman flexing their muscles in the same room. The comic convention opens tomorrow in San Diego and today, retailers got a peek at products that promise to be hot and superheroes fighting hard to stay on the cutting edge. It's 1993, the year of a bigger, badder Batman. After snapping his spine, creators made Bruce Wayne hang up his cape for good. Uh, as Gotham City still needs an avenging uh, night creature, he passed them on to a friend of his who he had taken under his wing, a previous hero called Azrael. A beefed up Batman, a meaner, leaner Catwoman are some of the marketing ploys debuting at the San Diego Comic Convention, which opens to the public tomorrow. Superheroes have leaped from the pages of comic books onto t-shirts and trading cards. Look at her. <laughs> An emerald green She-Hulk is the rage among six to 18 year old boys. She's real hot looking. Um, she has phenomenal powers. DC Comics, who killed off Superman in November, says he'll fly again. Details to be revealed in a press conference tomorrow. And look who's capitalizing on character. I'm plugging my new card. It's a Marilyn Monroe card. It's uh, licensed by the estate. There's a 111 card set. Comes out October 1st. Most comic books and memorabilia target teens and hardcore collectors. A few sexually explicit ones are for adults' eyes only. And the characters themselves are muscle-bound do-gooders in a world of darkness and evil. He's got bigger battles to fight today than he did, you know, years and years and years ago. But uh, the kids, you know, they, they, all kids look for a superhero, whether it be a sports figure, a comic figure. A comic figure is a little bit easier for them to grasp. And then there's the ageless all-American Archie. He's got the two beautiful girls, one on each arm, you know, which he still can't decide which one he's going to go out with. So Archie loves it. Let these guys kill themselves off. Let them rip the hearts out of each one. We bring to the table good, clean reading for kids. Whether their characters are old-fashioned or new wave, there's a healthy competition among the companies who give them life because in real life, the comic industry is worth billions. Cartoonists and writers will be around to sign autographs during the convention, running tomorrow and actually running Saturday and Sunday. It costs $18 for adults and $9 for the young ones. Anyone under seven years of age gets in free. We now go to Gene and Joe at the weather station with the latest on.